Hello everyone, in this video I'll demonstrate how to install the NestJ's boilerplate and quickly create resources and add properties to the entity. The first part of the video is the installation of the project. Copy the command to clone the repository from the documentation. Change the name of the folder where we will place the backend application. Open the folder in the editor. Create an environment variable file from the example. Let's change the environment variables to run the backend application locally. Next, run additional services like Postgres via Docker. Install the application dependencies. The app config command allows us to remove redundant features. Let's do it. Run the database migration in Cedar. Finally, launch the application. As you can see, everything works. The second part of the video is the creation of the resource. Resource is a module that contains controller, service, DTOs, entity, etc. We will use the following command to create the resources. Copy it and change the name. In our case, it will be publication. Generate database migration file for publication entity and run it. As you can see, the Swagger documentation has added endpoints for CRUD operations. The third part of the video is about adding fields to the entity. To add it, we can use the following command. This command runs in interactive mode. Here we set the entity name where we need to add the field. name of the field, in our case title, and other configurations. Repeat the same for another field. Generate the database migration file for new fields and run it.
Let's test new endpoints, but before we need to sign in, enter credentials. Copy access token. Paste it in the authorization window. Check the creation of publications. Let's add information to all fields. Publication successfully added. Reading of all publications. A reading publication by ID. Updating publication. Checking that the publication was updated. That's all. We have successfully created a backend application with authorization and other features. We are creating resources and adding fields. It took less than 10 minutes. Thanks for watching.